Rapids are mourning after a shooting on Thursday that killed two men and injured another. KCRG TV 9's Molly Swain was at a prayer meeting today helping people navigate their grief. She joins us now live in the studio. One of the pastors I spoke to today said that people get tired of repetition, the same grief, the same prayers after gun violence. But she also said people learn by repetition. And so as the violence continues to happen, she'll continue to let her voice be heard. Amen. Sunday, Gospel Tabernacle Church hosted those with heavy hearts after a shooting in Cedar Rapids that left two dead and another severely injured. This is just so heartbreaking. It's not something uh, that I'm sure this person was thinking this was going to be my last day on earth. The shooting was in the 3900 block of Sherman Street on Thursday. The apartment complex there, Point Apartments, was the site of another fatal shooting in December 2018. That particular apartment complex, they've tried a number of different things and uh, we just, our heart really goes out to the family and all the residents there that have to, to live in that environment. The prayer Sunday, not just for those who lost their lives recently, but in the face of violence, these leaders said they've seen far, far too much of. We have too much gun violence in the community. This is becoming such a frequent thing that we're dealing with. During the meeting, pastors from a number of churches spoke, both offering words of comfort and pleas for change. We gotta give people options and, and alternatives to, to, to make decisions about their life and things that they can do. And the, the choices are limited for, for, unfortunately, for some folks in the community, and hopefully we can improve that. Some pastors pointed to changing gun legislation. Another said churches need to reach out to kids along with their parents. But everyone agreed they didn't want to hear of another life lost this way and mourn all over again. These issues are not worth life. They're just not worth life. No arrests have been made following Thursday's shooting. Cedar Rapids police have said this is an active, ongoing investigation. In the studio, Molly Swain, KCRG TV9 News. Thank you, Molly.